It's a fucking goddamn slaughterhouse. What the fuck am I doing here? This place sucks. This whole thing smells like shit. What's the rational thing to do? I think the rational thing to do is go up to Dr. Frankenstein and say, What's your vision here, fuckwit? What's the master fucking plan? Do you have a permit to do this shit? Because if you don't have one, you know what? I think we're going to burn your fucking castle down. Society is basically saying, if you're complaining, you are sick. I think the standard for sickness is broken. I think your standard is shit, to tell you the truth. This whatever spectator bullshit, this life journey bullshit. Yeah, I think you are the sickos. You've got antinatalism, which is theoretically... Um Ethelism. One doesn't want to have children. It's not about, I don't want to have children. It's not ethelism. Those videos are explicit. It's a description of the entire frickin' game. I didn't get here because I did something stupid. I got here because somebody else did something stupid. And to prevent it from perpetuating, from happening over and over and over and over again, you have to do something. You have to change something to prevent something. I didn't make the mistake. Someone else is making the mistake. You get me? I mean, this is one of those all or nothing kind of things. It's either you have nuclear power plants or you don't have nuclear power plants. You can't just say, well, the people who want them can have them and the people who don't want them don't have to have them. That just means that the people who don't want them are still stuck with the risks. You get it? I can't win and you can't win. It can't go both ways. We don't both get to win. My only way to win is to stop you fuckers. So that's what I'm going to goddamn try to do. Wipe out the planet, or um, just the right to die because you're unhappy. Well, even the way you said that, because you're unhappy, I mean, just it just trivializes what can be chronic problems. Again, I would argue, just like with parenthood, if you're a happy parent, I'm going to argue you're doing it wrong because it's such a huge responsibility. And I'm going to argue, if you're going to call yourself happy on this planet, with the conditions that exist on this planet, that means you have to say, I'm happy, even though capitalism has many billions of people in slavery, has people living in absolute shit. People are dying for 58 goddamn cents in this planet, and other people are wasting on gold-plated toilet paper. And you're going to argue to me that there's some reason for somebody to be happy, or to call themselves happy, but if I don't say I'm happy, then all of a sudden I'm some sort of whiny, complainy shithead. There's just no way to win with you people. There's absolutely none. There's plenty on this goddamn planet to not be happy about. Does those all get tangled up and because... These questions of entanglement aren't that difficult to untangle. Go to a YouTube channel that says Graceful Exit and you go to one that says Ephilism. Two different channels, two different approaches to the problem really don't have to combine it and I'm saying that it doesn't really matter if you do associate the two because they're both negative assessments of life and they're both basically making the point that it is you pro-creationists, you god players who are the ones who are interfering not only in a right to a personal autonomy in a right to choose not to live but in the fact that you will impose the creation. I know what reality is better than you do. I can make a better argument for my reality, so why don't you just shove your pencil up your fucking ass, bitch? I mean, this is so fucking obnoxious that we need to be psychologically tested to earn the right to invest our own welfare in our own fucking judgment. And that that argument, in your opinion, is just too obtuse and strange for the rest of the human race to get. And then you're going to argue to me that there's something about this fucking human race to value. So you're telling me the most intelligent creature on earth is too stupid to recognize the rights of a goddamn individual all right, control over their own destiny, their own opinion of what life means isn't their own anymore. They can't invest their own welfare in their own fucking judgment because you fucking babysitters are going to tell them what they're supposed to believe. And you're going to tell us that we're obnoxious, we're somehow disgusting, that we're not doing our cause any fucking good. Fuck you. This is a disgusting argument. It'll never change. A very progressive, rational thing will not be possible on planet Earth, and you're going to defend the existence of the human fucking race. That is disgusting.